So today I am going to be working on this ship box here. And what I'm going to be working on is, at the moment, is I'm going to be trying to fix these rockers. I'll have to deal with that, that door at some point, but that's for later. I've already fixed this cab corner. That used to be a giant gaping rust hole. It ain't pretty, but it's good enough. And that's it. Uh, yeah. It's uh, pretty rough. So... And then on top of this side, we have the other side over here, which this cab corner has gone to hell on me. And the rocker here is going to hell on me too. Joys a Chevy being dumbasses with their engineering. Uh, this whole, uh, this, yeah, this whole one is rusted down the entire length on this side. Yeah, you can see it's just all packed full of. Due to the way they designed it, you get all sorts of dirt and garbage built up in there. And there's no way for it to ever get out, so it sits here and builds up until it rusts a hole through. So, where I'm going to be starting is on on this rocker over here, on, this, on the rockers over here on this side. So I, I am going to get started by trying to smooth out this rough edge here. So, I'm going to take the angle right here. Perfect, but I'd say it's good enough. Uh, so we're gonna take. Whoa, 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 okay, apparently that's already turned on. Should check that first, but whatever. Well, I'm gonna give this little tool a shot. Spent a little bit of time in, with the grinder, getting stuff cleaned up, and yeah, I still need to sort out this mess because that's 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 a problem. I I need to figure that out. But I will. Well, I'm gonna keep plugging away on this, and then yeah, uh, snow falling off the trees. It, yeah, Let's see, yeah, that's doesn't look so great back down there. <sighs> well, it's an old truck from well, not I wouldn't say old, but it's almost 20 years old at this point, so and it's spent most of its life in this environment with 
and all sorts of salt and chemicals and stuff getting put down on the road. Anyone who lives in the Midwest, and particularly in these areas where they put those nasty chemicals down, knows that, well, the result of them chemicals is this bullshit. Salt does do it, but not quite to the extreme that I've seen them chemicals do it. Those chemicals, those things are brutal to vehicles. Alright, it's been a few more minutes. I went and just cut it out. Just that whole section of rotted steel there. I'll have to weld in a new piece here, but this is thick enough. It shouldn't be, I would imagine it shouldn't be too hard to weld to, this stuff. I mean, I'll still have to be careful with it, but should be easier than these super, super thin body panels. Because good God, them body panels. Those things are a nightmare to weld. I don't, I'm going to hate when I have to come back to do the rockers. And you know, get me wrong, it looks like this, it looks like these rockers might be a bit of a thicker steel than whatever the, some of this other stuff is, but it's still, still going to be a bit of a challenge, so. And I, well, I suppose I'm going to continue cutting away. They're trying to grind, cut and grind away, see what I can make happen. I'm going to have to do these rockers and sections, I would imagine. Just, yeah, that's just gone. Just trash. So I realized that for these sections that I'm doing, the most of the metal is just is even where there is still good metal i have to cut back quite a ways because a lot of it's just so thin that even if you tried to spot weld that you probably burn through it because it's just that thinned out from the backside, even if it looks like it's good steel so i had to cut way over there plus more stuff cut out from there this <sighs> This truck is a mess. <laughs> so that's the only way I can think of to put it. It's just, it's just plain simply a mess. <sighs> and then I still have to deal with the whole other side of the, <gasps> of the truck too. So that'll be fun. <sighs> Lots of work to do. None of the right tools. Or parts. So, I got to the point where I'm going to start doing a little bit of welding. I got my cheap... My, uh, my cheapo Amazon welder here and got all set up. Well, I'm gonna turn it on, but so yeah, I'm gonna start welding here. Line that up. That lined up the best I can, I suppose. It ain't going perfect. Just get her close. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to turn the settings down. Okay, they're turned down.
yes, I know this is not the proper way to weld, but this is such a thin metal that it's the only way I can do it without burning a hole into the steel. So this is fun. Also, the reason why there's not the, the gas shield on here, flux core wire, I just took the shield off because, yeah, just to make it easier to see what I'm doing. Well, it's coming along slowly. I mean, this metal is thin and it's trying to burn through and it's just causing me all kinds of nightmares. It's coming along, but it's really slow going and my welds aren't pretty. I'll say it now, they suck. But as the saying goes, a uh, grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. Well, it's a, a little while later. I mean, it certainly isn't pretty, but I'm getting there. Still got to weld another piece down here. And then I still have to fill that in as well, but it's coming along. Slow and steady, I suppose. <laughs> so, I had finished the rocker panel here. You can see it's all done. And I had forgotten to record it because, well... I had an accident with an angle grinder and after I came back to do this I forgot to set up my GoPro to record but it's done on this side I still need to paint on that side but I also still got I also did a tiny bit of work over here cutting out some of the rust yeah you can't see it anything It's not done though, and I need to finish that up, but Yeah, so it's that's probably where I'm gonna end it here. So Yeah